YouTube channel what better way to warm up on a chilly fall day than with some delicious fall flavored chai lattes in today's video I will show you three cozy chai latte recipes I absolutely love making okay so these are not just simple chai latte recipes but I wanted to make boba chai lattes so I added in some tapioca pearls which is the boba um, I struggled with the process of making the boba from scratch so I will link the recipe and the video I followed in the description box it should be really easy you just need tapioca starch and boiling water I don't know what happened if you can find these big boba pearls in the stores or online you can make it easier or of course you can skip this step because it's totally optional this is just to add some texture some you know those little balls are chewy it's it's fun to chew them but they don't really taste like anything so it won't be a big loss if you don't add them but I decided to make them and add them to these lattes to make them a little extra special. I'm so excited for these recipes and if you are too, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel because it's totally free and we really like when we see people subscribing to our channel because that makes us uh, be more motivated to make other videos and you know, just make our days happier. So without any further ado, let's make some lattes! First, let's make the pumpkin syrup. Combine 1 fourth cup of each pumpkin puree, water, coconut sugar or sweetener of your choice, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, which I will include in our blog post. Check that out to know how you can make it, it's very simple. Simmer for a couple of minutes, then take it off the heat. Next we're gonna make our chai latte. Heat up one and a quarter cup of nut milk of your choice. I absolutely love the coconut and almond one from All Pro. Add in your black tea bag, or you could also use coffee instead of tea. Let it simmer for a few minutes, take it off the heat, and let's steep until we make the cream layer. For this I'm using 30% fat cream half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, one teaspoon of pumpkin puree, and a pinch of turmeric powder to give it a nice golden color. Using a hand frother, froth for about 20-30 seconds. Now comes the fun part. Let's assemble this pumpkin chai latte. This is optional, but you can add in some boba, which are the tapioca pearls, then about 4 teaspoons of pumpkin syrup, pour in the chai latte, and top with the cream. Remember, you can always froth up some milk instead of cream. Sprinkle some more pumpkin spice on top and we're done! Mmm, this truly tastes like fall! It has a sweet pumpkin flavor combined with the creamy chai latte and the chewy boba. If you like pumpkin, you will adore this cozy drink. Even if you don't, give it a try because it tastes amazing and it is healthier. Start by heating up one and a quarter cup of nut milk. Add in one medium chopped apple. Optional, you can add in a quarter cup of cream, one teaspoon of chai spice and stir until combined. And finally, add in your black tea. Bring to a boil Remove from heat and steep for 20 minutes so the apple can release its flavor. To put it together, start with adding your tapioca pearls to the bottom of a glass. Pour in the apple chai milk 
and using a hand frother you can froth it. That's why we added in the cream to be able to froth it and to be creamy. Sprinkle some chai spice on top and you're ready to serve your cozy latte. I love how it has a supple apple flavor. You can even add in some applesauce for a stronger taste. I think that would be so nice. Our last chai latte is a bit special. Heat up one and a quarter cup of milk and I know this is not the proper way to roast the marshmallows, but I didn't have a choice. For me, two marshmallows were enough. Add them to the milk and bring to a simmer, stirring until the marshmallows dissolve. Add in the black tea and simmer for a couple of minutes. Let's steep until we make the cream layer. Add some cream to a glass and froth it up. No need to add any sweetener or spice to it. Again, take a glass, add the boba if using, pour in the milk, and top it with the frotted cream. And now comes the fun part, decorate it with toasted mini marshmallows, which if you don't have, just cut a big one in half. Drizzle some melted dark chocolate and sprinkle some graham cracker crumbs on top. This truly is a liquid s'mores. It tastes delicious, it's not too sweet, but it has enough sweetness from the marshmallows, so no need to add any extra sweeteners. The milk really tastes like marshmallows. We've got some crunchiness from the graham crackers and some delicious dark chocolate flavor as well. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. I'm all snuggled up on this couch and look at these pretty fairy lights and fall decor. And I'm sipping on my delicious s'mores chai latte, which is definitely a treat. So, you know that marshmallows are not the healthiest, but every now and then it's okay to make this latte. That's why, uh, if you noticed, I didn't add any, any extra sweetener, because the marshmallows are sweet enough. Um, and I used nut milk and that is unsweetened but, but it has that nice flavor and you can skip the cream, the top layer you can just froth up some milk and it will do as well uh, so, um, and I even used the dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate which is like full of sugars um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely a treat, so don't drink this on a daily basis, but every now and then it's okay. Even if you live a healthy lifestyle, it's okay to treat yourself. When it's fall, you know, you all need to be cozy. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I really really hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite chai latte and which one would you like to make. And if you make some of these, make sure to take a photo, upload it on Instagram and tag us at Miss Workouts. We would really love to see your lattes. And subscribe to our channel because it's 
free and we shall see you next Wednesday but until then stay fit and healthy and drink your cozy chai latte <laughs> bye guys